Hey there everyone, Sage here, founder of Organic Unity in the School of Evolutionary Herbalism. Just wanted to share another plant with you here, which is out for our evening walk. And um, the poplar tree here on the land, they're all um, producing their buds, which is the primary medicinal component that we see used in, uh, in these types of trees. And um, this is a really unique remedy. I love this remedy because it's one of the only herbs that you really harvest in the winter time. And uh, the primary part uses these buds, um, the, the buds of the leaves that come out typically in, in the middle of winter time here. And they exude a really nice, thick, aromatic, resinous bud here. You can see kind of the orange reddish coloration in that. And it's really aromatic and pungent. It has a lot of resins in there, which display a lot of antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. Um, which is in part the protection for, for the tree, uh, preventing any pests or bugs from eating um, the buds, um, which conversely translates into the way it's used medicinally. Um, so these poplar buds, um, the resins here are uh, highly alcohol soluble. We see that in uh, plant chemistry, that resins, essential oils, um, things like that typically um, are extracted in a high proof alcohol. Um, so they're not soluble in water. You can't really cook a tea out of it. Um, and these resins have a very potent antibacterial, antimicrobial effect, specifically for the respiratory system, for the digestive system. And uh, we, we use this in our, um, in our rainforest lung formula with Organic Unity, um, which is specifically for more of a, a damp condition in the respiratory tract. And we see that reflected in the growth habitat of the plant or in this case a tree, um, the poplars really like to grow in waterways. So you always see them by riversides or alongside um, just moving bodies of water. So they have a really strong correlation to the water element in that way. And that translates, as I said, to the specific tissue states in the body that that plant is specific for. <clears throat> so we'll oftentimes see with herbs, the signature of the habitat of the plant um, oftentimes is reflective of the habitat within our own bodies that that plant is active for. Um, so in this case with the poplar, we use, use it a lot for um, damp, stagnant, cold tissue states um, where the tissues have become accumulated with moisture and boggy and everything is kind of slowing and stagnating down. And these pungent aromatic resins help to stimulate and disperse those stagnant tissues. Um, so it has a very strong water element correspondence and a very strong uh, sun correspondence in the way that this resin is very aromatic, it's very resinous, it's very warming and dispersive. You know, it warms your whole system up, your digestive fire, circulates the bl blood, brings a lot of warmth into the respiratory system. And then in terms of the, the three principles of alchemy, it has a very strong sulfur principle. And sulfur is equivalent to um, the cardinal mode for the astrologers out there. Um, it's similar to the pitta dosha for the folks familiar with Ayurveda. Um, so in that way, this resin has a strong amount of sulfur in it, which in alchemy relates to this volatile aromatic dynamic um, and also uh, essential oil contents and resins they say that's a high amount of soul in that plant, meaning that that plant is going to be very strongly initiatic. It's a teacher plant. And in that way, it initiates us into really a higher level of understanding. And um, this, this plant can be worked with alchemically. Um, you can distill out these very aromatic resins and there's ways of working with it to create a very powerful uh, spagyric extract out of this resin. So one of the things that I really love about these poplar trees is that they embody this really strong uh, sulfur sun correspondence in the coldest season, right? In the middle of winter, we have this, this incredible tree this incredible medicine that creates this um this beautiful bud that that brings that warmth back into our systems during kind of the coldest time of the year here and in that way we can really attune into the herbs and the plants in our environment 
and, and working with those remedies that will help to balance um, our own constitution with this particular season that we're in. So anyways, I just felt really inspired to share a little bit about the poplar here. If you haven't checked out the three-part video series that I've got going on right now, head over to evolutionaryherbalism.com where I'm going to share with you a lot more in-depth teachings on the new paradigm of plant medicine and understanding herbs through this energetic architecture of the planets, the elements, and the three philosophical principles. And just so you know, I am going to be opening up registration for the live evolutionary herbalism program here this weekend. So be sure to head over there, check out the free video series, and you'll get all the details on the program coming up here pretty soon. It'd be great to see you in class this year. So take care, everyone. Thanks so much for checking it out.